welcome to Kebabs, Lads and Shin Pads. Yes, this is the show made by fans for the fans. I go by the name of Mitch. And I go by the name of Swar. Yes, and today we're going to be talking about... The dirtiest players of all time. Yay! Yes, all right, but we're going to give you some trivia about some of the dirtiest players. First, we've got Roy Keane. Um, he's the fourth red, most red carded player of all time. I mean, come on. Oh, dirty fella. Dirty, 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 dirty. Luis... Let's go on to Luis Suarez. Um, the guy has had two lengthy bans for biting two players on two separate occasions in two different leagues. Animal, what's wrong Hannibal, with him? whatever you want to call Leave him. him. And Pepe, Real Madrid's Pepe, um, most recorded player at Real Madrid of all time. Oh, yeah. Disgusting. Also, also Leave also it. But yeah, well. yeah, he's quite ugly. But forget all of that. Where's our co-presenter? Let's Where introduce him. He Where goes by the name of Poet. Poet. Sweet shop. Alright, mommy. Bye. How's mum? Yay! <laughs> mommy! Come on, mother! <laughs> Alright, you know what today's topic is? Dirtiest players of all time. Um, uh. I think we should start with Roy Keane. Do you think Roy Keane was a very dirty player? Yes, but there was a method to the madness. And what was the method? Sometimes it was like revenge. And revenge apparently is very sweet. Not that I've tasted it, but. Um, revenge like on who? One time it was Alfred Inge Haaland. Now he was an individual from, I believe, Norway. Yeah. Really nice person. Very quiet. I heard he reads books and stuff. Come on, yeah. Norway. Then, I don't know about that. But um, Roy Keane ended his career. Only because in the 97 98 season, uh, he took him out, injured him for the whole season. And then uh, Roy Keane said, I'm, one day I'm going to get him back. Let's get a boo for Roy Keane. Come on. You can't be doing stuff like that. He also stamped on Gareth Southgate. I know, but. I'm what not saying it's oh, there's none of that, none of that. But the question is, did he do that in order to win the game? Or was it just pure anger? Well, do you, you know what? Yeah. Any, any, when you yeah, got in the field, it's a bit of both, isn't it? Yeah. Do you, do you think, think, yeah. you think he was doing it for the team to yeah. win a game? Yeah, yeah put them, you know what? If you, once your mind's not on the game anymore, mm. you, you're losing focus, yeah. you might lose the game. Well, let's move off of Roy Keane anyway. Let's go straight on to Louis Suarez. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Boo him up. Yeah. Boo him. Why not you? I like him. Forget Louis Suarez. I like him. The guy bit two different players in two top leagues. And got two lengthy bans. Very hungry. Ten dude. match bans a piece. What's wrong with him? I don't know. Like, I feel like someone Such from the crowd said the best. Character, isn't he? Very essential. Mm. He's hungry. Hungry for what? Success? A meal? What? What's he hungry for? Apparently, people's arms. So um. I don't know what is wrong. Do you know with what? Just right. donate your arm, and who knows? He right, might what not about handballing off the line? He's done that on a few occasions as well. You know, oh, yeah, but so has Paul Scholes. Seeker, he? Paul Scholes mm. has done it. Good Paul old ginger. Well, apparently he's handballed it off the line and got sent off in the European Super Cup final. So I think we One should. One uh, occasion. I oh, mean, Luis Suarez is making a habit of these sort yeah. of things. He's Andy. Hey! 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 He's Andy. I like what you did there. He's definitely Andy. Forget who's, Suarez who's anyway. Andy? It's time to move on to Vinnie Jones. Yeah. Vinnie Jones declared the bad boy officially the bad boy. Now, now in Hollywood. Now in Hollywood. Uh, you can see him on the screen there. You know, looking all. Well, he's not looking glamorous at all. Um, <laughs> but he's, he's been declared a bad boy. What has he actually done that's made him a bad boy within football? It's his aura. When he walks on the field, you're slightly intimidated. Yeah. You don't want to look him in the eyes. He's got that old Cockney accent. Oi, mate, don't look at me. I'll slap you. I'll slap you. <laughs> that insane thing, thing, isn't it? Thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mummy, I'll slap you. <laughs> <laughs> that real so, mean machine um, type of yeah, so body language and everything about him. It's quite intimidating. And yeah. he, doesn't, he's not, he doesn't look like you're, you know, a conventional football. He looks like someone you might sit down in the pub, have a couple of drinks with him and go home. Um, not with him, but um, just in general. So um, if we could put we don't Roy Keane, that. Luis Suarez and Vinnie Jones in a ring together, like a little wrestling... You love putting these people in a ring, don't you? Type of thing. You love <laughs> thinking you're putting them in the ring. I'd give it to Vinnie Jones. He's bigger than the rest of them. Um, yeah. I'll give it to Roy Keane. I think he's one of them individuals who doesn't heart. know when he's beaten, and I think that's a problem. I mean, yeah. if you're having a fight with someone and they just Knock don't want to get beaten, get yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. But one love to Poland, and thank you for uh, Szczesny for all the years at the carpet. Szczesny? <laughs> he's just picked up Szczesny out of nowhere. What about Fabianski? Anyway, forget all of that. Um, <laughs> Fabianski, no, forget all of that. We need to actually get a little word about these dirty players from our mascot, so we're going to have a talk to little Joe. Joe's oh, everybody. Joe, Joe, Joe! Come on, Joe! We need to tackle, and someone puts a leg under to stop the other people when they have the ball. And your leg, and they trip over, and they were holding blows his whistle. Yay! Yeah. The only thing right. I think I heard was Lego. Le Lego? I, I don't know what happened. <laughs> Joseph Franks, once again, that was our little mascot. Don't you wish a striker was RVP? Okay. Don't you wish a striker was RVP? Okay. Not anymore. Don't you? No. I said, don't you? No. 
Yeah, all right, all right, all right. Yeah. Van Pagan. Jakey, on your head. Um, oh. Sit down. Poet, you didn't get involved in the chance. As a dedicated, me dedicated member of the carpet, I do not get involved in chance with the enemy. But RVP is an enemy. He was once a dedicated member to the carpet. He is now an enemy. I shall anyway, never chance. Enough of enemies, from enemies to friends. Today we have our guest, and he goes by the name of. Come on, everyone, get some noise. Oh. Yeah, drum roll. Shamik uh, Ashley for real. Come on. Come on, yes, come on, yes, on your head, on your head, what are you saying, bro? I'm good, how are you doing, you right? Not too bad, not too bad. He's looking ferocious to the Hello? Hello? No, no, one second, one second, I can't hear, I can't hear. Mum, Dad's been at the shop for 20 years, let's just get over it, he's not coming back. All right, bye. Done with the phone calls there, Pope? Yeah. Family affairs. Let's get on with the show. Shamik, how you doing, man? I'm not too bad, man, how you guys doing? We're doing all right. We both got a little bit of hair going on here. Synchronising, man, synchronising. Synchronising, you came in tact for the show. Tomato, tomato. Tomato, tomato. All right, let's go straight into things, man. We hear you got a bit of football history. Do you want to just give us a little lowdown on your how you got involved in football? So, yeah, at the age of five, I started playing football. Yeah. And then when I was 14, I got signed up to Spurs. Stayed there for. Come on, boo. Yeah, no, I like, no. I like the yids. I like the yids. You've got to love the yids. I'm like, yeah, like the yids. Yeah, yeah. I was there, I was there yeah. for three years. They're good to you, innit? Yeah, they were, they were nice to me. They were nice to, to be. Me. It's always over there. And then uh, moved on, went to Dagenham Redbridge yeah. for a couple months. And then not too recently at Oxford United for two years. Yeah. And that that's good. it. Free agent that's now. It, huh? Free, sign him up, sign, sign him, him up. up. Everybody, Everybody sign him up. Come on, you got to do it. Now, before we move on with things, I've got a few a drink, man. We've got a couple drinks here. Yeah. Uh, we've got cola. Sweet. Milk, good for the bones. Some milk. Water. No, I'll, I'll take some water. Go for it. They I'll love the water. water. Yeah. Love it. Go on, down, 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 down it. Down it. Down it. Down all in now one, all in one. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> all right, now while Poet does the honours with the water over there, we're just going to move straight on to it. All right, so while he's poured the water, we're going to actually move on with things. Um, we hear you're the founder of the Coats and Goalposts scheme. Yes. Tell us a bit about that, man. So I founded uh, Coats and Goalposts uh, in the 1st of January. And basically, yeah. it's uh, football interlinking with education. OK. And basically, we go into schools and teach life skills and poetry to people who are disengaged with education. Amazing. And then using the traits of football and then transferring that into like their life, uh, schoolwork and yeah. stuff like that. Come on, mate. Oh, yes. He's a real good role model to society, as you can see. And um, we also hear you do a bit of running. Tell us about that. Yes, I've been it's running quite a busy for, for two years now, just yeah. like on the off the back of uh, mm. football. Uh, so you're from North London? East London. Oh, East oh London. yeah, I see why you run. Carry yeah. on. <laughs> <laughs> always, always on the run. Always on the run. Um, so, yeah, I've been running for, for two years. Yeah. I've, I've done London Marathon, mm. Florence Marathon. Doing Copenhagen Marathon next week, wow. so it should be. That's a lot of marathons. That's a lot of running. How, 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 many many miles? Miles? Yeah. how many miles are these marathons? Uh, Twenty-six miles. Twenty-six point two. Oh. To move on to our mastermind VT, and it is with the one they call K Coke. Make sure you woo, check this woo. out, people. Hey. Coke. Real name. Kevin. Occupation. Artist. Previous occupation. Drug dealer. Coke, Kevin. You have 60 seconds to answer five general knowledge questions on football. Are you ready? I think so. Your time starts now. Question number one. Which former Chelsea player got banned for taking cocaine? John Terry. Fail. Number <laughs> two. When playing for Liverpool, why did Robbie Fowler cause so much controversy when he scored against Everton? Because we hate Everton. Fail. Question number three. Before End Power, who sponsored the championship? Pass. Question number four. David Beckham has appeared in adverts for which soft drink? David Beckham's a backy man. <laughs> Question number five. <laughs> which Premier League team rhymes with Coke? Stoke. <laughs> yes, you got yeah! it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Okay, Coke, I would call you an armchair supporter. What football teams do you support? I'm a Liverpool fan. Okay, question number one, Wiz. Uh, which football at Chelsea player got banned for taking cocaine? The answer was Adrian Mutu. When playing for Liverpool, why did Robbie Fowler cause so much controversy with one of his goal celebrations against Everton? He pretended to sniff Coke on my line. Before Empower, who sponsored the championship? It was Coca-Cola. David Beckham has appeared in adverts for, uh, appeared in adverts for, for which soft drink? It was Pepsi. 
And the one question you got right was which Premier League team runs with Coke? It's Stoke. Oh, you right. This is the end of the show, but before we do it, we've got to leave with the tweet of the show. Let's go over to Pipe. The tweet of the show is from an individual on planet Earth. He said, and his name is Stan Collymore, I'll tempt Ray away from Ince, failing that Owen Coyle, who's got a rep to mend after Bolton. That tweet was rubbish. <laughs> Stan Collymore, the reason why it was rubbish, because what did you achieve in your career? Nothing. Nothing. Oh. Nothing. What's in this cup? Nothing. Nothing. What do I think of him? Nothing. Nothing. What rhymes with orange? Nothing. Nothing. And what am I wearing underneath him? Nothing. Nothing. It's all nothing. <laughs> Guys, it's been a fantastic show. Um, we've got to give a big shout for Shamik. Yes, yeah, Shamik. Top well, lad, yeah. Yeah. top lad, yeah. top lad. Yeah. Everyone, make some noise for the one they call Poet. 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 <laughs> and make some noise for Vinnie Jones. He's made it to Hollywood. Come yeah. on. Yeah. Yeah. And make some noise for Mitchell Swab. Now, as you can see, um, this has been Kebabs, Lads and Shin Pads. But before we go, um, I think I'm going to actually give you this tape with you. Because oh, I'm such oh, a big fan. Thank you, kind. I thank bought you. him the cola per like, on purpose and he chose the war. It actually went a bit wrong there. So, so there I'm you go. Sorry. Sorry. Nice thank you. I appreciate Hopefully that. Hopefully you can you have to do it, man. some trainers in the meantime. Yeah, yeah. 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 some trainers, yeah. man. These are getting quite old over here. Poe, would you like some trainers? No, I would like to leave now. All right, all right. Chill, chill. Sure. 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 Send the box. Right, send guys, the end of the show. It's been Kibaz, lads. Shin Pads, this time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, eat a kebab and drink a pour your beer. Wait to all the girls, cause the boys are here. We got a match to win, so I love you.